Welcome to this video, which is part of the course on how to create a platform like Shopify, using WordPress and WooCommerce behind the scenes. We'll show you how to create a simplified dashboard for users to manage their stores from it. Also, you'll create a beautiful homepage, a pricing page for your membership plans, and a custom login page. To take this course, follow the link in the description of this video. In the previous section, we set up the theme settings for the front-end dashboard. In this section, we'll show you how to display the WooCommerce reports on the front-end. We'll do this with the WP front-end admin plugin. We'll include the WooCommerce reports page first on the dashboard, because we want the users of our online store platform to see their store's sales reports when they log into our front-end dashboard. Open the dashboard site admin panel. Now create a new page. Enter the title. And enter the WP Frontend Admin shortcode. Just make sure to enter the WooCommerce Reports URL between the quotations in the shortcode. Now click Preview to edit the page on the front end. As you'll notice, WP Frontend Admin displays the quick settings panel on the left side of the screen, but the left header menu from Ocean WP covers it. We need to move the header menu to the right side of the screen using the theme customizer. On another tab, go to Customize and edit the header settings to move it to the right. Now reload the page and you'll see the WP Frontend Admin settings on the left. Select the page title, slug, default template, and add the page to the main menu, which we created in the previous video. You could hide any unnecessary elements and edit the texts, but this doesn't have any unnecessary elements or long texts. You can change them though, using these buttons. You can limit access to this page for specific plans only. These are the plans we created in previous sections. Finally, save the changes to publish the page. This is how the WooCommerce Reports page will look on the front end once users log in. The next video will be about how to set up the WooCommerce products on the front end.